I'm confident now that we've located the den that we'll have a really good chance of catching it. But so far, it's been an utterly impossible task. Although the Vancouver Park Board says some important progress has been made as the search continues for a river otter eating up the koi fish at the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden in Vancouver. So we now have an opportunity to put the trap much closer to where the home base is. We've also located the feeding lair where it's taking its, uh, its, its catch and devouring that. Uh, so we have two good new pieces of information to our mystery otter. There are actually three traps that have been set up here, and this one happens to be the largest. It's been relocated and fully stocked full of tasty treats for the otter. You can see there's salmon, tuna, chicken, and it's been strategically placed because just beside it is this hole that's been dug underneath the cement, and it's believed that the otter has been digging down there and making himself a den where he's been hanging out down below. Well, the guess is that it's probably living in the den. And it's going to the, the feeding layer on the other side, where it, right on the water's edge, where it'll pull the fish into there, either leave it or eat parts of it. Six large koi have been eaten so far. Maybe there's not a lot of other food in here. It could be a young one that's just sort of struck out on its own and is trying to establish an area. And so if you notice uh, what they do, they'll eat the belly first and probably eating any internal parts that may be tastier because the actual fish itself, I'm told, koi, carp, aren't very tasty. It tastes like mud. The park board says it will not be relocating the remaining fish, but it will be setting up motion detector cameras. Staff are on standby, and the public side of the park will be shut down until Otter Watch 2018 wraps up for good. In Vancouver, Andrea McPherson, City News.